God is saying he was looking for a man to intercede for the nation. But the Bible says he found none. Thank God in this generation we are here today to intercede for the nation. To stop whatever plague is hanging on the roof on around the ten of the nations of nations of countries. Tonight we are putting an end to this plague in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now quickly, uh, many of you have requested in the past that I go live again and again but as you know here at word and fire ministry we are not we are not known to speak by impulses or do what everyone else does but we must wait on god and do stuff by instruction only and i believe this is the time to do what god has called us to do live videos on facebook many others who are not part of the church family have said that i was quiet about this coronavirus but that is not true for those who are uh, the church family those who are in church we have prayed for it again and again and we've even declared i think on the first of march 2020 that by the 25th of april 2020 this the whole thing is going to stop the, the economy is going to come back the lockdown will be over and life will be back to normal again but one thing i wanted to know is at this time god wants us all to learn such a spiritual lesson he wants us to there's something that he wants us to learn from this situation there's something that he wants the nations the presidents the whole world to learn from what is happening now also in december 2020 uh, 2019 i remember i said that there will be major challenges around the world in 2020 and i said that god is preparing us that if god is preparing us for these challenges in 2020 i preach about the challenges the world will face in 2020 including christians and i said god told me to prepare us as christians for such challenges and i went ahead to declare 40 days fast and thank god many of you trusted me and followed instruction and joined me in the fast now with that same trust child of god believe god with me concerning what i declared on the first of march that by april 25th everything will be back to normal that's what we are doing tonight by april 25th by the grace of god everything will be back to normal now notice i did not say march 25th march 27 i said april 25th and the bible says in job 22 28 30 that we shall decree a thing or that i shall decree a thing and it shall be established as a matter of fact i was telling someone today i say the truth is that um i know many people are saying that the virus will end today but the truth is that i'm afraid numbers will instead go up it will become worse before it becomes better and now this is not a prophecy of doom i remember once i told a gentleman who came to me and said pastor um they want to send me off school uh they've stopped me from writing exams and in my third year i'm about to graduate because of uh, uh student finance issues and i said to him i said go home go and rest everything will be resolved and then after two weeks they said they wrote him another letter and they said we're going to expel you from the university because of student finance and all that and i said to him don't worry god is going to come at the 11 hour and he kept pesting me and guess what god came at the 11 hour i don't know what you are going through you is online tonight but i believe with all my heart that god is going to show up for you in the 11 hour in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth